guy. But this kid is a fantastic athlete. He's a really good wrestler. And man, the little TV can do some crazy stuff in the gym. He'll be doing flips and stuff. The dude's the same, man. He's a great athlete. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Not much behind the takedown offering there. This dude is built like the side of a backyard shed. Actually kind of looks like our best pitch creative director, Grizzo. I say that with all due respect. And there's a takedown attempt. Wow. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. It's not great for the gas tank, and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. All effective use of the jab by the Korean Super Bowl. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, nice. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Back to the single. Now he's going full mount. Side control now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. They're starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. That mount now. Good work from the top here by Alir Latif. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, beautiful knees in the clinch here. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Yeah. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Nice jab there by Chor. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he's able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has with the position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chor. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Seconds here of round one. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Five minutes.
minutes in the books. All right, listen. You did pretty good that round, but I need you to keep space now. Okay? Do not be content to fight. He's grabbing you. I need you to avoid... All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good control. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, nice jab, nice pick. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, that right hand from Lil Latifi shook the canvas. DC probably... Fortunate you moved up to heavyweight to avoid this guy. One of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underdog. He is going to start to drive me. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, great block there. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high crotch and just following the action. He's in half guard now. All right, close guard now. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the box. Big power shots landing. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because both submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Good, solid strike on the ground. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for Nice transition. All right, feet on the hips here. Just gotta be careful there. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Latif. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Hammer fist here by Alir Latif. And there you go, again, half guard. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. You see him put himself into the half guard, like the control, yep. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended oh, a shot to the body. His opponent is but not out yet. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Fighters separate from the clinch. 
Latifi's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Latifi gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Well, missed on that one. Final seconds here of round two. And again, he shoots for a takedown here. Nearly got the fight to the ground, but once again, the takedown defense holds up. But he knows, he knows that if he can finally get the fight to the ground, he has to be patient and he's gonna have to be committed. If he thought that he would get every takedown he shot, he would not find the success that he intends to get. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That one was clean, great punch. Nice job blocking that punch. Connects with a beautiful jab. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big Oh, big left hook there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Slip that one. Latifi's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not over. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand lands. There you go. There you go. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hip, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you've got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Latifi's back inside control. Mm, that was nice. from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Alir Latif. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make it. Oh, he's hurt. Oh. oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Oh, oh he's getting it again. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his point IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Latifi's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, he's got his back. It's worth, I'll stand it up. Oh, it's right into Mo. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. The swelling is starting to show. He has been beaten up from the top. He has got to move. Great job landing from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, hammer fist here by Latifi. Latifi's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Effective strike there by Chor. Latifi's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. They're blocked by a little team. Back to the feet now. Oh my goodness. That'll do it. Do Hong Choi gets the finish. Oh boy. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another 